Hey Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. My name is Lauren B. Sagittarius, I was just doing your Shuffle Mancy and um, the last song that came on for you was Work It by Missy Elliott, which I thought was just perfect. Just the perfect song to come up on the Shuffle Mancy for the last 2020 Zodiac reading of the year. Cause you know, we like to put our things down, flip it and reverse it in this honeycomb. Yes, we do. Um, I'm gonna use the Tarot of the Old Path for your for your spread today. Uh, you're, no, you're the last one. You're the last one for 2020 before I start doing these monthlies on the Patreon. So I just kinda wanna like sit and hang out with you for a little bit. Um, I wanna pray. I wanna pray because I'm like I'm I'm channeling some stuff for you and I, I don't wanna I don't wanna lose it. I don't wanna lose it. I have a Scorpio moon, so <laughs> things can get a little squirrely over here. Father God, I just wanna take a moment and honor you for this entire year, for everything you've done for me and the collective and Sagittarius. We love you, we praise you, we honor you always to the utmost high in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen, Sag. So I'm sitting here and I keep hearing to be, to be or not to be, Sag. And I'm thinking, be what? Be happy, be successful, be loved. And I'm hearing like to be yourself, to be yourself. Um, and in this deck, they, you know, before I even sat down and started prepping, they kept showing me the Nine of Cups card in this deck. And in this deck, the Nine of Cups card, it's this guy, he's, he's super pudgy. He's got this chick like all over him. He's got like cups full of milk and he's got like a big like turkey leg in his mouth just like fat and happy right and that's sort of the energy that I feel like for you that I don't know I'm channeling some of my Sagittarius's there there's been this energy that you've kind of gone through this year where it's um almost feeling like the need to perform feeling the need to perform for people that in order to get what you wanted right? Whether it's partnership, commitment, whether it's um, uh, success in business, it's this image you had to sort of like portray, portray yourself as being very, very like professional um, or, or look a certain way, like in order to attract the, the kind of mate that you wanted, right? Feeling um, concerned about like w how your weight was going up and down or how, you know, you were presenting yourself, right? And, you know, there's, there's an energy of like always wanting to put your best foot forward, right? Wanting to show like the best of yourself, but in, in always having to show like the best of yourself, it was almost showing a, a, a part of you that wasn't super authentic, that there actually isn't a part of you that isn't good. That even what you perceive as like bad or or sloppy or unattractive like that's there's nothing bad in that like it all creates like the whole of who you are and I just feel like you guys are really coming into this year moving into this energy of just wanting to be right to to just be yourself like in your totality to to if it you know if this has to do with commitment or anything for you guys to um to to just be be yourself to you know if you're if you're feeling chubby that day you're feeling chubby that day that you don't have to you know if you want to go out and you want to exercise and eat whole foods then you do that because that's what you want to do because it makes you feel good but not because you think it's going to help you um garner more attention to you from other people right it's like that um needing like that external validation as opposed to validating yourself right it's like um in terms of like work and success feeling like you have to like outrun everyone else and, and outperform and, and, you know, do this kind of thing, this like rat race sort of energy, as opposed to just letting your, your natural skills and gifts and aptitudes just kind of like shine out. Right. It's like to be or not to be, it's like this decision that, that you're making going into the new year. Maybe it's like a resolution you're making. Right. We always talk about like our authenticity. Right. And it's like, it's such like a blanket term we use our authenticity. It's like, well, you know, so, you know, what is that? What is your authenticity? It's just being who you are really in that moment. And that might change from, from day to day. That might change from hour to hour, right? 
you know some days i i come on here in in like a bomb outfit with like my hair done and my red lipstick and some days i come on here in my pajamas with like acne out everywhere and some days i'm like it's okay aquarius like everything's gonna be super great and sometimes i'm like pisces get your fucking shit together right like because that's authentically like who i am like sometimes i'm sweet and sometimes i'm sour and sometimes i'm super classy and sometimes I'm fucking sloppy or punk rock or, or like whatever it is right and I allow myself to kind of um morph from from moment to moment um and it's about you kind of allowing yourself to do that and allowing there's something about allowing other people to see the metamorphosis the metamorphosis of that to really gauge whether or not like they're really with the shit for you saggy so let's pull let's see let's see two of pentacles two of pentacles it's the struggle with the juggle walking like this tight rope right and it's like you have one hand it's like you have this pentacle that you're like holding up right it's like look look at my ace of pentacle like look at my c look at these things that i'm working on right but meanwhile it's like you have your foot on like another one what does that mean you have your foot on another one one foot is on a another pentacle trying to balance it and one foot is on the rope it's like one wrong move and you'll just like fall off it's like almost this energy of like driving a car with like one flat wheel or trying to drive like a bicycle with a flat wheel and so you end up on like a unicycle which you know is cool unicycles are super cool but it requires like an even heightened level of balance right this might be something that you've been trying to to do with yourself right like the the driver's wheel and the passenger wheel that no one ever really sees it's like throwing all your junk in the back seat or like your your dirty laundry underneath your bed so no one sees it it's like trying to really balance it because it's like up top up top everything looks great looks like you're you're celebrating yeah look at this pinnacle look at all this Woo! look at my hat but down at the bottom it's like one wrong move it's like underneath the surface feeling not super stable right it's that idea of when you post something on social media and everything looks like great and, and happy and like I'm living my best life but then it's like you you get done scrolling through your legs and you're like I feel like shit about myself it's like one the, the wind could blow like the wrong way for just a second and then you'd like you'd fall to pieces right it's like again um so guess, my moon's in Sagittarius it's like this deep like interior world that like you're not sharing with other people that actually sums up the totality and part of the reason that like, you haven't shared it possibly in the past with people is because you would think again it would make them see you in in a bad light or in a light that you don't want to be seen in but your shadows are part of your light they they come together it's the totality and there's just this there's just this game there's just this unicycle thing that it's like you don't want to be doing it anymore you just want to be be on two wheels have real true balance and have people see you in a balanced way right because when we show only the best of ourselves that occasionally like when we have like an off day or we have a day where we're not vibing super high or a day where we don't want to you know shave or or do our makeup or or put on our nice slacks or whatever it is right then all of a sudden people are like what happened to Sagittarius right it's because you've only been showing them one dimension of you whereas when you can show the multi-dimensional aspects of yourself it's like people um, can admire you more for for the truth for your authenticity but it also takes a lot of pressure off you as well right because it's like look at that your hat with like these little bells and balls on it right it's like playing a game it's like not playing a game with yourself just allowing yourself to be and then allowing other people to to be as well it gives them the freedom too it's almost like a even like a leading by example sort of energy you don't have on any pants caught with your pants down caught with your pants down it's um maybe some of you are getting caught with your pants down but it's that energy of like being vulnerable like being caught right it's like when you're always done up and then it's like you go to the store to like go get like some coffee or some milk and then it's like you look like fucking hot trash and then you somebody you know sees you and you're like oh shit I'm so embarrassed where it's like if you just allowed yourself to like go and be and do like in all your different ways like it wouldn't be such a shock to other people and you wouldn't feel so off guard right and so like embarrassed and like shameful that like you're not like wrapped up in a bow 24 hours a day seven of pentacles it's the investment i think it, it might be hard for some of you because 
I mean, the seven and the two, right? So that's the nine. That's the nine of pentacles. It's like your personal stability. It's like your independence that there's been like a lot of seeds that perhaps Sagittarius, like you've planted in the ground to, to, um, uh, uh, display this like illusion perhaps of like who you are and what you're what you're working on right and sometimes you know like we we don't have to let everybody know our business like you don't have to let people know if like you're struggling or if like you're you're just holding on to faith or you know you don't have to necessarily let everyone know we could take our L's in private like that's totally fine but it feels like this image thing this image thing right because even in here see it's like he almost like he's got this little belly and it's like the his belt it's like too tight he's like too tight it's trying to like squeeze yourself in skinny jeans that are too tight but then it's like over here it's like at home you're allowing yourself to like take the pants off like put on put on something like real loose and baggy and just like let it all hang out right and it's like the idea that 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 veil it's like the the performance aspect of you like doesn't want to keep up with it anymore it doesn't want to keep up with it anymore you just don't want to do it you just don't want to do it anymore i'm just hearing like i'm tired it's like i'm tired like you even look tired on this card you're like sweaty you're like oh i can't stand this shit and it's like these pentacles there's like these little red like ribbons kind of in here as well and i always pick up licorice when i look at them and licorice is about symbolically it has to do with um like investing in things that don't like matter or they don't really have like a significant payoff right it's like that fast food sort of thing it's like just throw a filter on it and get it out there but in reality it's like not allowing like real nutrients the things that you actually need whether it's revelation about yourself epiphany moments people seeing you for who you really are and then feeling like the real richness of the appreciation of that people to see you like really see you after you hit a point where you can like really see yourself You have this little thing right here too. It's almost like this weeding process, almost constantly trying to like weed out things that might make you look a certain way or come off a certain way instead of just being like, I'm having a bad day and I don't want to talk to anyone. Like, no, instead of like forcing yourself into even like social obligations There's something about that too, like showing up and doing social obligations because you don't want people to think that you're a flake. Or like you don't want people to think that you're like anti-social or something like that when like really like you're just not feeling it and you just want to like go home and do your own thing and like pig out and watch your movies and just like turn the world off for a minute but like feeling as though like if if you don't participate in the world the world will forget you it's like a little bit of that FOMO energy it's a little bit of that FOMO energy but to I see the FOMO energy and then I raise who fucking cares you just sit home. I mean, I'm by, I might be the wrong person to ask those Sagittarius because I am like queen of the loners. I have been crowned <laughs> little miss antisocial, like queen of the loners, even though it's like I love people. I do, but I, I love time with myself more. I do. I'm personally someone that requires like an inordinate amount of alone time. I do. Which I always thought made me like weird and antisocial. And I just realized that I'm just like, a big energy sponge and like my energy so big that to take on like everyone else's energy requires me like an exorbitant amount of alone time to to deal process integrate all of that stuff so you know if you're a really empathic person if you're like very intuitive and, and you take on a lot of people's energies right um part of that like caregiver aspect that's like inside of you might feel as though you have to over socialize and over engage in other people when in reality, like, what your soul is telling you is to, like, pull back and just, like, recuperate and rest and, like, deal with your own stuff, like, outside of other people's energy. So that way you can kind of get back to what your own energy feels like. So when it starts mixing with other people's, you know if it really is, like, vibing with you or if you're just going crazy. Page of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is, like, not wanting to plant these seeds. Pentacles are, you know, are always seeds to me. And that, you know, that could mean anything time energy commitment money like projects you know a seed could be anything but page of pentacles in reverse this is you not wanting to do it and it's also i'm hearing not wanting to plant in other people's gardens as well it's like putting time and effort into other people's passions other people's plans their projects their dream ideals well then going home and not feeling really good about yourself because you're not investing in your the things that make you really really happy but it's because at the end of the day you've already expended all of your energy uh, on everyone else's gardens that you don't have time to go home and try and like 
plant in your own, plant in your own, which is why you're having weeds popping up that then you're busting your ass trying to weed out, right? Like real quick. It's like when you try and straighten up your house real quick before someone comes over. It's a little bit like that. So everything looks like it's on the up and up through, even though really in reality, everything looks good up top, right? But underneath it's like you're, you, you know, you don't have on pants. It's like you're half dressed. You haven't showered. You're not feeling good, right? Not feeling good because you're not investing in yourself because you spent so much time investing in other people. This is even could be like ideologies and stuff like that, right? It's like, yeah, okay, let me grab my crystals and my moon water and go do my thing. When in reality, deep down inside, you're like, oh, that seems fucking ridiculous to me. I don't want to do that shit. I want to put a bowl of water outside and then bathe in it. Like, what am I? <laughs> you know, but it's like, well, that's what the spiritualists, that's just, you know, the new agers say that's what you got to do. So it's like, okay, right? We're feeling like, you know, like the, the religious people are telling you like, you have to fast. And meanwhile, you're like, I'm fucking starving. Like, can I, can I, can I have a snack and then talk to Jesus? Like, do I, do I have to starve myself right now? Like, it's a little bit like that. Like some of it's coming on with that too. Like to let, letting other people tell you like how your journey, how your evolution, like how your walk is supposed to look too. When it's like, ain't nobody gets to tell you nothing. Nine of fucking cups. What did I say? What did I say? Right? This is like you not being able to reach like your wish fulfillment. Look at this guy. He is as fat as he wants to be. He don't care. Look at this girl. She don't care either. She's like, hell yeah. Have another turkey leg. This is the best time ever. We got all these fruits. We got cups full of milk. Like this is the best day ever. And it's in reverse. Like you like not feel like it's going out with your friends being like, yeah, but then coming home and being like, I'm not really where I want to be. And then comparing yourself to other people, right? And it's like, there's this apple. There's this apple and it's eaten, right? And it's like the tree of knowledge, right? It's like the apple. It's like you've, you've eaten it. It's like, you know, it's like you have the knowledge of like really what potentially has been holding you back a little bit. It's like feeling the need to like kind of stay on par, catch up with other people, but in trying to keep up with other people, it's like you haven't had, like I said, the time, the energy, the the resources. It basically been just like the mental energy, honestly, to even like take a minute. It's like sometimes you got to let people run past you because like you don't know where they're going anyway. That might not be a place where you want to end up being. Um, it might not be a place where you feel good at or you might end up having to go like in a totally other direction. But you end up missing those opportunities to get that guidance, the instructions, your, your marching orders, right? Because you're too busy keeping up with other people. Sometimes you just gotta let them run past. You don't know where they're going. They could they could run past you and end up at the apex of, of their potential and then that's it, right? Um, but meanwhile, meanwhile, like you're supposed to really ascend and excel and accelerate in like a totally different way. But sometimes you have to sort of let the world pass you by so you can you can sit down and, and, and love yourself and deal with yourself and, and grow yourself because in doing that you realize that you know there's something totally different that you're supposed to end up doing. When I still had like my normal like nine to five job, I felt that energy very heavily. I was like, no, I gotta get these shifts and like no I gotta prove myself and no like they gotta see like ba 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 and uh, you know in reality like the divine was coming in telling me like yo Lauren fall back like fall back let them run past you let them take the shifts as a matter of fact let's double down let's quit why don't you just focus on your cards why don't you just focus on your personal development why don't you focus on your channel and helping people and doing the shit that I told you to do and I was like whoa okay so I did and they all ran past me. They ran right past me. A couple people were like, hey, you good? <laughs> or they just ran past me. But in that, you know, and there's, I had some feelings about that. But in the process of that, I got to spend so much like really like quality time with myself, like outside of everyone else's energy. Just me, the divine, you know, doing my thing, exploring myself, expanding myself. And in that, like I grew so much more respect for myself. I got to love myself more. I got to understand myself so much more than the quality of, of the work that I do. But um, the quality of the way I interacted with other people, the quality of the way I spoke to myself, the, the, the real like, quality of the goals that I started setting for myself too, the intentions behind them were, were so much richer. They were so much pure they they came from such a such like a clean heart space that you know it, it, I'm so much I'm so much happier now letting the world pass me by because my world lives inside of me I don't live in the outside world where I live my world lives inside of me and it feels like that's what my Sagittarius are really doing right now it's like you're you're skinny it's like spiritually skinny 
right? Wanting to be physically like fat, like a fattened calf, right? But um, there are some things going to have to be, be sacrificed for that. And some of it's just like the facade. It's just like the performance aspect of your life. And going into 2021, I don't think that Sagittarius is like with the shit anymore. I just really don't think you are. I think you, it's, you know, to be or not to be. And it's harder to not be for you at this point. So moving in to the to this coming year, I think that you're in for like a really pleasant surprise, like how easy this transition is actually going to be for you, right? I think it seems like to give up the charade it seems like so much harder, right? Because it's like you've been putting in some work, you've been putting in some work doing it, trying to keep up with everyone. But I think that you've just gotten tired now of just like driving with one wheel. And you don't want to do it anymore. And you're like, you know what, I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. And I think that something in that is going to feel very freeing to you. And I think that feeling of, of freedom is going to, to be so worth it for you. It's a little fly. Um, it's going to feel so much worth it to you that you're not even going to mind. Like who seem, seemingly passed you or, or, you know, any feelings of FOMO or keep up with the Joneses kind of thing that you you may have been feeling over this past year I don't even think you're gonna care because just the feeling of being able to be as you are and and change that every single moment if you want to it's just gonna feel so good that it won't even matter what you had to give up even if it was just you know the gig or the facade so sad I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pulling cards for you over on the patreon I'm gonna I want to see how this uh, metamorphosis plays out for you a little bit. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much. You guys have been so good to me this past year. This has been a very transformative year for me. And I know it has been for all of us. And I just really appreciate you guys coming here and investing in me and sharing this sacred energy space where we, we talk about people, right? It's like we, we talk about these higher dimensional beings and, and astral travel and, and ascension and all this stuff. But you know, we're people. And so I tell people's stories and we get to walk this out together. And, and it's very special to me what we have here, Sagittarius. So I just wanted to thank you so much for allowing me to read for you because it is a blessing and it is a dream come true for me. And I love it. I love my job so much. So if you're going to see me over on the Patreon, I'll catch you shortly. If not, if I leave you here, Sagittarius, it's all good. All of my information is in the description box. So my email if you're interested in a personal reading, um, the link to the Patreon for all the extended readings and the monthly readings, my social media if you do feel like clicking around, and all the decks that I use in case you want to get one of these decks for yourself. This was the Tarot of the Old Path. And as always, thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing and again, participating. This participation award, Sagittarius, it goes to you. So thank you very much. And as always, stay prayed up, stay blessed, stay sweet. And I will see you next year. Take care.